Facebook friends and triathletes and open water swimmers. <laughs> my friend Matt. Okay, just working out a little bit of a calf cramp. It's all good. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak preview of our open water squad right here. We're working on some drafting and drafting formations. Uh, let me see if I can flip the camera. Here it is. Look at this place. So we're doing a little uh, what we call arrowhead formation drafting. Can I zoom in? I can't. Oh yeah. There we go. So we've got some su support swimmers in the water. We've got our friend Shep out there in the kayak. And then we got another group. Hello, Natalie. Hello. I'm going to be your assistant coach. <laughs> and then these guys getting ready to go. So we're forming some little, some small groups here. <clears throat> They're going to form up in groups of four and form an arrowhead shape. Okay, so we're going to have one swimmer in the lead, another swimmer off to the side, another swimmer off to the other side, flanking the lead swimmer and then one back and behind. So if you're getting your open water practice, drafting is a key skill for the open water. And believe it or not, in the sport of triathlon, uh, it is legal in the water. So it's not, not legal to draft on the bike in triathlon, but in the water, it's fair game. <clears throat> I'm gonna flip the camera here real, uh, real quick one more time just to show you these guys. And there we go. So doing a decent job staying together. You can gain up to about a 30, close to 40% energy savings by drafting in behind another swimmer. All right. A lot of these folks are trying all this out for the very first time. So just wanted to give you guys a preview, a look at our beautiful venue. Little shout out here, who's tuned in? Joe, Alexandra, Dana, how are you? I haven't seen you in ages. Lori, Laura, hello. All right. Here comes our lead group. Do of course everybody's got a tow buoy there just for safety and comfort. These guys are motoring. Okay, so Swimmers off to the side of our lead swimmer. You can see Jeff with the green cap leading the way, kind of pulling the group along, literally. Everybody else is conserving a little bit of energy, stay, staying in behind. Erica there has moved back into right behind his toes, just about. Mark's in a great position. Mark's in the got the silver arms in a nice spot there. So if you can get comfortable with the toes and with the bubbles, you're going to get, uh, there we go. You can get comfortable with some bubbles in your face and toes right in front of you. You can save quite a bit of energy by drafting. I'll say goodbye here. Fearless leader. All right, there we go. A selfie, a selfie, selfie. All right, so thanks everybody for watching. So there's your tip. Get in the open water, grab some friends, practice some drafting formations. Practice drafting, you can do that in line, one behind another, and there is a noticeable benefit to swimming in behind as long as you can get, uh, swimming in behind another swimmer, as long as you can get comfortable with the bubbles, the turbulence, and uh, maybe somebody's toes just up, up in front of you, okay? So happy swimming this week from Paramount Estates. We'll see you soon.